Our next guest is a comedian, actor, writer, producer, and roaster who is growing a human being inside her as we speak. Her new comedy special, Mouthy, premieres November 15th on OnlyFans TV. Please welcome Whitney Cummings. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I following Billie Eilish, this is a nightmare. <laughs> She's so cool. Like, why? I'm sorry you had to just see the coolest person on the planet, and now you're staring at a pregnant lady in a leotard. <laughs> like, did you see how she was just sit? I can't sit like that. <laughs> I'll start crowning. You might, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. How, How are you feeling? I'm good. I feel I feel good. I feel good. This is your first child? First child. Um <laughs> I know I uh, got pregnant naturally at 40 years old. Uh, I'm convinced it's a vaccine injury. Um, <laughs> I got the Johnson and Johnson, so <laughs> who knows what's even in here? Who knows? <laughs> Like, if you get pregnant on the Johnson & Johnson, I don't even know what comes out. Just actual baby powder? I think that was their product. Do you know if you're having a boy or a girl? I'm or... having a boy baby. Oh, you are? I'm having a boy. Okay. Although I wasn't obsessed with the gender. Like, I didn't care. Like, everyone needs to have the gender parties. I don't, I mean, we live in LA. I get an invite to a gender reveal party every month for the same kid. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> I... <laughs> Because I always want to know the gender. I feel like in LA, you can't even ask. I'll see a pregnant lady and I'll be like, oh my God, is it a boy or a girl? They're like, ah, oh, Whitney. <laughs> the baby will tell us its gender <laughs> when it's three weeks old. I'm like, all right, I, I don't know. It sounds like some rich person stuff to me. I grew up poor and when you grew up poor, you're whatever gender your older sibling was. <laughs> um, <laughs> I wore a hockey jersey to school until I was like 12. I identified as a goalie. I don't know if that's still. The hand me downs <laughs> determine what you have. Yeah. So, are you um, like, do you have a name planned? Are you that far ahead? Okay, so I was really, really stuck on the name Maximus. You were. That I remembered my last name is Cummings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's. <laughs> It's a tough pairing. It's a yeah. tough last name. And then a family name is Richard. And then... Oh, yeah, yeah. Then, uh -huh. Yeah. And then I really like the name Colt, because I'm okay. a horse lady. And then oh. uh, I found out that Colt Cummings is the biggest gay porn star on the planet. Is that true? That's true. That's true. Well... You, you will, totally sold me on that. He won't that. be in 15 years. I mean, like, <laughs> you know, the shelf life, I think, is short enough that your cult Cummings could be fine. It's interesting. Both guests are talking about names. I found out when you're naming a kid, I, there was, like, a book I was reading, and I guess your last name indicates what your ancestors did for a living. <laughs> <laughs> So if it's Baker, you know, they were probably Bakers. Tanner, they were like tanning leather. Like, what were my ancestors doing? <laughs> Maybe that more ancestors, we got I guess. <laughs> Are you, um, so you're on tour. Do you recommend being on tour while with child? You know, I feel great. Everyone was so worried about me. You know that in the medical community, when you're 35 and pregnant, they call that a geriatric pregnancy. Yeah, it's insulting. At yeah. 35, I had a 75-year-old male gynecologist tell me that I was having a geriatric pregnancy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so sorry that the only acceptable age for a woman to get pregnant in the medical community is at prom in a toilet. I'm so, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad I waited this long. If I had, dude, I'm so glad I waited till I was a mature adult to get pregnant. If I had had like a pregnancy, even a year sooner, I would have sold the baby for Taylor Swift tickets. <laughs> like this is, this is best case scenario. Are you nervous about how much your life will change? I don't, people keep warning me yeah. about stuff. Like, everyone's telling me I'm gonna get postpartum depression. Oh, yeah. Which I already have prepartum depression, so I feel like I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm ahead of it. Um, <laughs> but that's like the big thing everybody is like really worried about. And I looked it up, if you Google postpartum depression, it says there's no known cause. Like, we don't know the cause. <laughs> Are there no female doctors? Like, are there still no, like, I'm not a doctor, but I feel like I can take a stab at what might cause. Postpartum depression. I don't know, could it be that both your holes become one hole? <laughs> and then a tiny vampire starts gnawing on your 
boobs until it looks like you got shot, then you start balding and none of your cool friends will talk to you? Like, am I a doctor? I... Do you have a plan? Like, people like to make a plan and they have a kit and they have a bag and My the whole deal? My plan is to survive... That's good. ...the birth. Uh-huh. You've done this four times now. That's correct, what am yes. I, what, do, what should I, what should my plan be? Well, I didn't do the hard part. Um, <laughs> well, you had to watch it. That as seems... my wife likes to remind me, often, <laughs> often. But I, um, well, you know what, actually, what, Bill Murray gave us great advice, and mm -hmm. I think this is excellent advice. He said, bring Christmas lights into the delivery room. And then instead of those terrible fluorescent lights mm -hmm. that every hospital has, you can lower or turn those off and you bring some, like, battery-powered Christmas lights so you don't unplug something important. <laughs> and it gives a pleasant environment. Um, sure. And it's almost like Santa's sliding a gift out down the chimney. <laughs> you know? The only thing that seems more laborious than actual labor is untangling last year's <laughs> Christmas lights. <laughs> get some fresh ones. Yeah. I'll like... get you some lights. <laughs> I, I feel like... I feel like your wife was like, hey, can you tell him to get the Christmas? Like, she just needed them to be untangled. <laughs> she was like, can you please tell my husband to untangle the Christmas lights in the storage unit? <laughs> you, uh, your new comedy special, the audience laughed when I said it was on OnlyFans TV, but it is actually... Laugh all you want. On OnlyFans TV. <laughs> laugh all you want. I'm going to laugh all the way to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> all right? And, and I'm get 600 million streams like Billie Eilish, I will live stream my birth <laughs> on OnlyFans. The, they, they're, it's premiering right around the time, it, right? It really is. I, it's, so there's OnlyFans, which is the subscription service, and then there's OnlyFans TV, which is their new streaming service, which is not naughty. It's uh, like... It's not. It's not. Oh. A lot of comedy... I did the Comedy Central... Uh, used to do the Comedy Central roasts. They stopped doing those, and so we started doing them again on OnlyFans TV. We right. did the roast of Burt Kreischer a couple months ago, and then the roast of me, and then now I'm doing their first stand-up special. Um, because it's a tricky time to be a comic. I don't have to tell you, but, like, there's certain things that you can't even say on YouTube anymore. They'll demonetize you, they'll age-restrict you, so comedians are kind of looking for a home to be filthy pigs again. Yeah, and... and uh, <laughs> We're say, better than OnlyFans. Yeah, where, like, and say uncensored stuff. So <laughs> it's going to be there. Well, it's great to see you. I wish Me you uh, great health and a lot of luck with the baby and whatever. You know, James is a nice name, too. I, you know what? I love James. Great. I Let's love do James. It. Let's do I it. I like, there's a lot of names I like, but I'm trying to not, because people will, like, just say the worst person that has that name. Yeah. Like, right. I like the name, like, Rudy, and everyone's like, Giuliani. I'm yeah, like, you right, don't need yeah. to just yell yeah, 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 villains yeah. at me. And again, he won't be around by the time He's it matters. He's been dead for 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney Cummings, everybody. Yeah. Mouthy premieres November 15th on OnlyFans TV. And she's working. She's live October 13th in Erie, Pennsylvania, October 14th in Washington, Pennsylvania. You, Tickets at WhitneyCummings.com. We'll be back with Grace Potter. <laughs>